Hi, this is Steve Feng Yu. I'm a PhD student from the University of Melbourne. Uh, I'm pleased to present our work, Gay Supported 3D Object Manipulation uh, in Virtual Reality. I would like to thank my co-authors, Xue Shi, Rong Kai, Hainin from Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University, and my advisors, Tillman, Eduardo, and George from the University of Melbourne. So as one of the primary tasks in virtual reality systems, object manipulation is used in many different application scenarios, such as 3D modeling, game development, and immersive data exploration. However, uh, its primary input modality, which uses virtual hand to direct manipulate an object, uh, has long been criticized for being inefficient and imprecise, and is likely to induce arm um, fatigue uh, in longer interaction scenarios. So in this research, we investigated different integration, coordination, and transition strategies when incorporating gaze into the current workflow based on media input for 3D object manipulation in VR. Uh, we examine the design space that consider how gaze and hand input are integrated into different phases of the manipulation task, how they coordinate with each other when starting the manipulation, meaning if the target will snap to the hand position or remain in its original places when starting the manipulation, and how to transition from one method to another during the manipulation. Uh, either implicitly uh, based on or based on uh, explicit trigger like button pressing. So based on this design space, we developed four gaze-supported manipulation techniques. So with gaze graph, the gaze indicator target snaps to the hand position once the selection is confirmed. Next, the hand takes full control of the selected targets during the manipulation phase until the trigger is released. So to manipulate an object through remote hand, a user first points it through eye gaze and then confirm the selection through hand trigger. So the target then follows the rotation and translation of the hand uh, without snapping to the hand location. So 3D magic gaze establish a safe region around the target once the initial eye base selection is confirmed. And if the gaze point uh, is within the safe region, only hand can control the transformation of the object. Otherwise, when the gaze uh, point is outside of the safe region, and if the hand movement exceeds a threshold, the object snaps to the gaze point direction. Uh, implicit gaze also forms a safe region around the targets once eye base selection is confirmed. If the gaze point is inside a safe region, uh, hand input will control the object transformation. Otherwise, if the gaze point is outside, the, uh, outside of the safe region, uh, the object snaps to the gaze point direction. So we also introduced a mechanism which resides the safe region automatically based on user's gaze behavior to prevent the gaze cursor being overactive. So we evaluated the techniques through two years of studies. In the first study, we focused on the primary working space uh, where all objects located within user's arm reach distance uh, and in front of the user. So we assessed the techniques in terms of user performance and experience. So in the second study, we further evaluated our techniques in a larger virtual environment with distant objects uh, and embedded techniques into realistic workflows. So our findings show that gaze might not offer significant performance benefits for transforming objects in a primary working space, but can be useful in a larger environment with distant targets. Our gaze input was also shown to mitigate the arm fatigue issue and different integration, coordination, and transition strategies uh, can help provide benefits for building more usable and efficient object manipulation techniques in VR. So we further summarize this technique's strengths, possible applications, and provided pro potential compensations for their weaknesses. For example, we suggest disabling the snapping function uh, of the gaze grab when the objects are within arm reach distance and making the oversized uh, object transparent for implicit transition-based method uh, to reduce its intrusiveness. Please refer to our paper for more details. Thank you.